Hello everyone, this is Aitor Erce, a senior researcher with the European Stability Mechanism. Um, here today to present my latest work with Irina Balteano, who's with the Spanish Central Bank, on the linkages between sovereign defaults and banking crisis in emerging economies. In this paper, uh, we make a number of contributions. The first one is that we have uh, built up a very comprehensive data set of banking crisis and sovereign defaults for emerging economies. The data set covers 40 years of data from 1975 to 2015 and more than 100 countries. Within it, we have recovered more than 100 defaults and more than 80 banking crises. From all these episodes, 20 represent situations in which a sovereign default uh, evolved into becoming a banking crisis. And we have another 20 episodes in which the opposite happened, with the banking crisis developing into a sovereign default. By applying event analysis and econometric techniques to this very rich data set, we are able to find that there are some factors that are extremely important to understand when a combined situation of fiscal and financial stress can show up. And these factors include GDP growth, they include the balance sheet interconnections between the banks and the sovereign, include the degree of financial openness of the economy, and it also includes the credit dynamics on that country. More importantly, we find that the timing within this combined crisis is very important. For example, when we look at the combination of a bank crisis that end up in a sovereign default, we observe that this occurs uh, most often in countries with a high degree of financial openness. On the contrary, uh, those countries more likely to have a transmission of uh, sovereign stress or a sovereign default into a banking crisis are the ones in which the level of financial openness is relatively low. We hope that you will enjoy the reading.